Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson five. And in this lesson, we are going to move from that two-dimensional figures that we've been talking about in lessons one, two, three, and four. And we're going to move into the three-dimensional. This time, we're going to specifically talk about the cube and its relation to the square. So let's get started. So I found this really cool website. It's illuminations.nctm.org, and it's a classic website for all us teachers. And if you're looking at this, what does it look like we've got here? What do we have here? Well, it kind of looks like we've got a square, doesn't it? Uh, but the thing is, it's more than a square. In fact, if we rotate it around, you'll see it's not a square. It was a cube, and we can help uh, I guess help us see that it's a cube by clicking on the shaded thing and you can see look at that look at that beautiful figure and that's a cube and that cube is based on the square and now the question would be well how many faces does this cube have so parents and teachers great opportunity to um, find a box find some number cubes or dice um, man, just find something to let your students touch and feel and manipulate and count and, and so that they can figure out exactly how many faces and cubes that we have. So there's one right there. Then we can say two. And let's make all of the faces blue. So three, four, five six, there, we've got all six faces have been painted blue. So there we go. Then we know there's six faces. Now, if we wanted to talk about the corners, which are called vertices, there's one, two, three, oops, th no, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted corners, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. Oops, no, eight. So there you go. You can see that we have the eight corners. So we see that there's eight vertices. And we could talk about the edges as well. The edges, pretty tricky. Those are the little harder ones. That's these right here. And I'm going to unclick so that we can start fresh. So if we want to count the edges, those are the lines. So there's one two, three, four on that side. We can go on the opposite side and say five, six, seven, eight. And then we can say nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we've counted faces, we've counted edges, which are these lines, and we've counted the vertices, which are the corners. and But the important thing for us to know is that that square is related to the cube, that the cube is made up of a bunch of squares. And if we wanted to look spot on, it would look like a square. And of course, that one kind of looks like a diamond, doesn't it? So we can try and rotate it around so it looks like a square. And there we go. So for homework, we're assuming that the students have had a robust opportunity to play with figures and, and count the shapes and, you know, just understand the relationship between the cube and the squares. So the question here is, circle the shapes that could be the face of a cube. And we're going to look, definitely not this one, definitely not that one or that one, but yeah, here or here could be faces of a cube. So the big question is, uh, what is the most precise name of these shapes that we circled, right? Now, parents and teachers, we know that this guy right there is a square. Now, the thing is, a lot of second graders would call this a diamond <laughs> because it's a square 
rotated uh, by 45 degrees. So, but we want our, our students to understand that this is also a square, so that both of these are squares. And then the question is, how many corners does a cube have? Well, we talked about that, that the corner, the cube, it looks like this, And the idea is the a corner, we call them vertex or vertices. A vertex, it has four in the top, then it has four on the bottom, and we have this one back there that we can't quite see because technically those back edges go down, 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 and then down, 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 over, 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 over. And so there's that back that we can't quite see and so we see that there are eight cubes, uh, eight corners or eight vertices. How many edges? And again, we can look at this figure and we can see the edges around the top. Well, there's four of them. One, two, three, four. And then if there's four on the top, we know that there's four on the bottom. One, two, and then the two in the back that we can't see. 3, 4. So that's 8, because 4 plus 4 is 8. And then we have the 4 going up and down. We have 1 here, 1 here, 1 here, and then the fourth one in the back. So we, it's essentially 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. So we know that the cube has 12 edges. And how many faces does that cube have? Well, we talked about that. It has a top, a bottom, and then four going around the side. So we could say, well, it's got a top, and then it's got a bottom, and then it's got four going around the side. And that wraps up that slide right there. So, oh, how many, how many faces? So I forgot to answer. Six. So here we're just going to give our, our students chance, six chances to draw a really good cube. And uh, parents and teachers, I'm going to show a couple of options for how we can draw a cube. Um, not, I'm not going to do the same one over and over and over. So one option is you can Draw a square, your best square that you possibly can, and then draw another square exactly the same, but often to the to the right and up. So you've drawn two squares. Now I was I was really aiming to make these two squares identical. And if it's not identical, that's okay. Move on. It's all right. It's not important. But then you take the upper left-hand corner of this square and the upper left-hand corner of that square and you connect them. And you connect it and then you take the upper right-hand corner and the upper right-hand corner and you connect them. And then you take the lower left-hand corner and the lower left-hand corner and connect them. And then lastly, connect it. And there you go. You've got kind of a, a cube. Now that's one way to do a cube. Now if you want, you can then <laughs> have your kids do a little bit of erasing. And you could say, well, let's erase some of that because some of that is invisible because it's being hidden. For example, this line right here, we shouldn't be able to see, or this one, we, we can erase these because those really aren't visible in, a, in real life because they're in the back. So I can erase and erase and erase and then last little bit of erasing right here. And then look at that. We've got a nice, beautiful cube. So that's one way to draw a cube. What's another way to draw a cube? Well, another way we could draw a cube is the classic. You draw a cube. I mean a square, and then you kind of like draw a seven up and to the right. So it's kind of a seven. And then you just connect the three corners.
corners. Boom, and you draw those three edges. So there we go. That's another way that we can draw a cube. So there's a couple of ways that we could draw a cube. And uh, parents and teachers, let your students choose a method and, and practice or just do it. Um, choose. You don't even have to choose a method. Do all of the methods because they're kind of fun. There you go. That's one. That's kind of an ugly one. And then let's just do a square and a seven and then connect the corners. Boy, oh, that's actually a good one. <laughs> and this really is just an example of what I was just talking about on that previous slide where um, you just essentially draw two squares and then you connect the corners and that's how you get these figures. Now, they're doing something a little different in that they're starting with your front cube, uh, front square, and then you're kind of pretending to draw the rest of that other square, that whole square. And then once you've done that, then you can just connect your corners like that. It's kind of cool. And the last slide, Patricia used the image of the cube to count seven corners. Explain where the eighth corner is hiding. So we can see, we're going to zoom in, and we can see why somebody would say that there's seven corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Done. That's why Patricia is thinking there's seven, cubes, uh, seven corners to this cube. But we need to know that, well, actually, though, there is this back corner, which is kind of behind the cube, and there is the corner that is kind of hiding. And so that's how we know that there's actually eight corners. And that wraps up second grade, module eight, lesson five. We are relating the square to the cube.